Hello, beautiful. It is Philly here from Chris and Philly Functional Medicine. I'm on a mission to end body burnout. And today I want to talk about stress and managing stress. And this might sound a bit like, oh, what the heck are you talking about? But I believe that managing stress will only ever be a band-aid. Wait, what? What are you talking about, Philly? I thought I thought managing stress was good, <laughs> is what you might be thinking. I I believe that too. Like, I used to believe that too. I used to, you know, I lived my life for many years managing my stress and I thought that was a great strategy to help heal my body and to, you know, maintain my health longer term. It was definitely something that I implemented when I was doing my own functional medicine deep body physical healing. Um, yeah, I had a lot of adrenal issues and neurotransmitter issues and my gut and my detox pathways were all burnt out and like a major cause was around stress for me. So in order for me to actually be able to heal my body, I realized, well, after a few months in of just doing supplements and like strict diets and all that sort of stuff and not getting the results that I really wanted to see that I have to do something about my stress because back then I was rushing a lot. I was doing all the things, my never ending to-do list, always feeling like I had to do more and be more. And you know, basically I was overworking while also trying to look after two little kids and Chris back then hardly ever at home. So uh, that was a big wake up moment for me that it's like, all right, I have to, um, I have to figure out what I'm doing here. I have to reduce my stress. Otherwise my body's just not gonna heal and all this time and work and money I'm putting into healing my body is going to be wasted. And so, um, so I definitely did. I made some shifts. I got better work-life family balance. I stopped doing the, like the non-essential things. I was doing a whole heap of free stuff within like my business back then that was just taking me away from my children and um, filling up white space so I had no time for myself. And so there were some things that I could drop and this definitely helped to reduce, uh, to dial down stress. And it did, like at that point in time, it did allow my body to heal. So it was a good thing that I did. Um, but the issue was by changing up the way that I was living and started doing less, my insides, like my inner soul, were still rushing. Like I had a lot of tension, I had a lot of guilt. So, you know, for example, when I was working, because I was trying to work less hours and not do so much, I was just like rushing through work, like almost out of fear and anxiety, especially like 2 p.m. on weekdays, I'd be like, oh crap, the kids are going to be back at school, uh, be home from school now. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. And I'd almost get into like a state of panic and a panic attack or anxiety attack. Um, on the flip side, when I was, um, you know, giving myself self care and chilling out and spending time with my family, which I was getting better at doing in terms of like carving out the space. I wasn't ever able to fully relax because I had this little like thing in my head that was like, you have to keep working. You have to keep working. If you drop all the balls, if you stop, you're going to lose everything. So there was like so many like very negative stories that it's like, if I, if I stop working, I'm going to drop all the balls. I'm going to lose my business. I won't have any money left. I'm going to lose the house. I'm going to be poor forever. <laughs> um, these were the dysfunctional stories that were playing in my head. So while I was able to manage stress in terms of working less and, you know, putting into my calendar self-care and spending more time with my family. And while, yes, this definitely helped to physically heal my body because, you know, I was able to like rest and recover more. Um, I was still only ever managing my stress rather than actually resolving the root cause of my stress. And I'll get to that in a moment. So what does managing stress actually look like? I see so many people only ever managing stress. In fact, I would probably say like 95% of the population who are actually even like trying to manage stress and looking at their stress levels are only ever managing it. And this often looks like doing or doing stress reductive activities. So um, it could be having more balanced work hours like me. I had more balanced work hours yet inside I was still 
so much tension and stress inside. Um, it might look like just going on a holidays. It might look like sleeping more. It might look like eating healthy. It might, might look like doing yoga or meditation or breath, breath work. It might look like exercising. Managing stress might be being out in nature. Managing stress might be spending time with the family. Managing stress might be repeating affirmations that you saw on Google. Now, as I'm reading them out, you're like, well, hang on, like, aren't all those things good? And, you know, if you're a client of mine, you're probably like, well, don't you tell me to do those things anyway? It's like, yes, all the, all these things are beautiful and healthy and healing and great. But if you're not addressing the deepest root cause of your stress and the deepest root cause little truth bomb here is why you get triggered by stresses in the first place, then these activities like exercising and being out in nature and doing yoga and eating healthy, they'll only ever be band-aiding stress. They'll only be managing it and band-aiding it, not actually addressing it. Um, (laughs) You could kind of think about it like this. So maybe yoga and bushwalks, if you're not addressing the root cause of your stress, or going on holidays will actually be like taking a blood pressure medication for hypertension. (laughs) It will only ever be a Band-Aid. And while they, you know, all these lovely activities might actually help symptoms and even support your physiology and allow you to heal somewhat, they will never, ever end your body burnout because these doing activities aren't addressing the root cause. Okay, so I don't know, like hopefully you're following me here and maybe like, the seeing things in a bit of a different way because this is not the way that think about people think about in terms of stress. You might have gone to your naturopath or a nutritionist or another functional medicine practitioner or a yoga instructor or even like maybe a meditation teacher and they've probably been telling you to do all of this stuff because it's healthy and it's good and it is. But it will only ever manage stress if you're not addressing the root cause as to why you get triggered by stresses in the first place. Um... Now, you might, just to kind of give you a little bit of insight in terms of if you are managing stress, you might feel like some of these points. Um, So you might feel like you're constantly getting negatively triggered by people, events, deadlines at work, your to-dos, the kids, light, noise. If you're constantly getting triggered, even though you're doing all those lovely stress-relieving activities, you haven't addressed the root cause of your stress. Um, You might feel fragile. Um... You might feel like you have to be really careful about what you eat or how much sleep you get or what you're doing in your day because if you go out of that, um, step out of those boundaries, then you feel like you will break down pretty easily. That was definitely me. Um, I felt like I had to do, you know, I had to get like a good nine hours sleep to feel normal. Otherwise, like the smallest thing would cause me to break down. Um, And that, again, was because I wasn't addressing the root cause of stress. I was just kind of using sleep as a Band-Aid, really. Um, A supportive (laughs) Band-Aid. You might feel like you're forcing your way through self-care activities. So if you have like breathing or meditation or yoga or the gym plugged into your diary and you're just forcing your way through it, just like another thing to tick off or like self-care to tick off on your to-do list, then you are not um, addressing the root cause of your stress. You're only managing it. You feel, you might also feel like you can never fully relax or switch off when you have downtime. So again, that was me. It was just kind of like, it was almost like I was in danger. It's like, I can't be still. Something's about to get me. Something is about to um, pounce on me. And if I'm still, it's going to get me. And again, that's because I had this internal fear inside of me that was causing my stress and just having downtime was only managing it. Um, you might also find yourself worrying a lot or feeling really anxious. Maybe you felt really good when you were doing that breathwork session or that meditation session or you know, even having a good conversation with a good friend. But the moment you step out of those self-care activities, your worrying mind and the anxiety starts playing up again. So if you have ticked any one of those above dot points, especially if you've ticked all of them, you, my friend, are only managing stress, if at all. So uh, I want to tell you about uh, the reason why I'm really passionate about not just managing stress, but actually getting to the root of where your stress is coming from is because 
Uh, my health crumbled in 2020 at the start of 2020 um, when COVID hit. Uh, I'd been going on for a, going good for a good, I don't know, five, maybe more years from a health point of view, like all my symptoms. 95, if not more percent had, you know, improved. Some symptoms were no longer there. Yet I still felt like I had to wrap myself up in bubble wrap um, and live really healthy and clean. Otherwise, I would crumble. Then COVID hit. A whole heap of big stresses all at the one time. I'm sure you all felt it. Like for us, it was um, having our gym closed down, lockdowns, homeschooling, the kids while also trying to pivot a business and create a whole new course. Um, it, there was a lot of stuff going on. And then for me too, there was financial, well, for our family, financial struggles and fear of the unknown. And are we ever going to be able to get through this? Um all of my usual stress managing techniques stopped working. They just flat out stopped working because I was exposed to this very big stressor, COVID as most of us were. And because I hadn't actually addressed the deepest root cause of my stress, why I was constantly triggered by stresses, the managing techniques, stress managing techniques just didn't hold up in the pandemic for me, especially at the start. For me, the deepest root cause of my abnormal stress response came from the deep-seated and hidden belief that I was weak and incapable. Um, I later, yeah, well, actually it was in 2022, this year, that I really plummeted the depths of that because I'm like, I don't want to have to just manage myself anymore. Um, I worked with an amazing life coach, Jamin Fraser, who just uncovered this deepest root cause that had caused my burnout in the first place and um, because I hadn't addressed it before COVID hit that is why I was fragile and just fell apart again and it makes sense because if I deep down I really like deeply believed that I was weak and incapable hello pandemic look at all these challenges being thrown at me well, of course, I went into a state of panic um, and fear and anxiety and I started overworking and put lots of pressure on myself and I was very defensive because if I was truly weak and incapable, I, you know, subconsciously, unconsciously believed that I couldn't hack it through the pandemic. And so my nervous system just went crazy. <laughs> and then sure enough, that did happen. My nervous system went crazy. All my health issues started surfacing again. I had anxiety again, insomnia. That was just the worst. Night after night after night, I could not sleep. Hormonal imbalances went nuts. Acne, pimple breakout, chronic back pain flared up again, which really had been okay for a while as long as I managed it. Um, heartburn flared up. And while I was able to manage some of these symptoms with like all the functional medicine and physical healing tools and the stress management tools, um, yeah, they never really fully resolved and I had to be very careful about what I did. And there were some symptoms that really persisted far beyond like even up until, you know, two years past the pandemic started. Um, heartburn was one of them. I ran lab tests again. I treated the gut again. I took all the supplements. I did the diets. I did all the things that worked last time to heal my gut. And yet my heartburn did not budge. Um, and it wasn't until I actually did the deeper healing inner work on my dysfunctional beliefs that symptoms actually dissolved. It was almost like, what the heck? This is a miracle. <laughs> um, and even better, like it wasn't just the symptoms, but even now, like I don't feel like I have to manage myself. I don't feel like I have to wrap myself up in bubble wrap. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting triggered all the time and I have to breathe my way through it because now that I no longer believe that I'm weak and incapable, but strong and capable and sure of myself, my nervous system is regulated. My unconscious state is happy and I'm able to live my low, my flow, my life with flow and ease rather than force and fear fear, which had been a pattern I'd been running ever since a kid. And this is a pattern that I see running for many other high achieving parents and individuals who have been burning the candle at both ends because highly likely you're living your life out of fear and force. And you just might not know that that's why you're doing it. Okay, so uh, lastly, I just wanted to to just hone in if you haven't already got this managing stress will prevent true healing full stop 
Like you will never fully heal. I promise you, you will never fully heal until you can actually address the deepest root cause. So if you've read this far, sorry, if you've listened to this video this far um, and you're suspecting that maybe you too are only managing your stress, if at all, or maybe you're frustrated with the lack of healing, even when you're doing all the things, it's highly likely that you have some hidden dysfunctional beliefs about yourself that are keeping your nervous system in a state of stress and triggering an overreactive stress response. So no amount of gut work, no amount of toxin-free living, no amount of healthy eating or adrenal subs or whatever else that's healthy <laughs> will ever allow you to fully heal until you can address your dysfunctional inner beliefs. I like full on believe that now. I'll see it. <laughs> when you can do this, your unconscious mind will feel safe. Your nervous system will feel safe. And when your nervous system feels safe, your body will feel safe and it will finally be able to rebalance and heal at the deepest level. The body and the mind are connected, people. I hope you understand that. And if this is a new kind of like framework of looking at health, then have a read, listen to our blogs, our videos, because we bang on about this all the time. So this is what I call ending body burnout. Um, healing the body is never just about physical healing because the body and the mind are connected. It requires looking at the deepest root cause of what led to your body burning out in the first place and or keeping you in a sick state. I would say 98, no kidding, 98% of the time the deepest root cause comes back to dysfunctional beliefs or stories or patterns or programmings that you have been running in your life for a very long time, even before you got sick. It's actually what caused your sickness in the first place. Not, not many people heal at this deepest level. In fact, um, this is a percentage from my coach, Jamin Fraser, but he said he believes only 5% heal at this deepest level. Uh, which is why people, which is why we see so much chronic illness in this world, which is why people continue having health issues pop up time and time again and they have to keep going back to the diets and the supplements or the medication or, you know, holidays or whatever it is or why health issues actually never resolve in the first place. But if you're, like, if you are that rare 5% of the population who is seeking true and deep healing and you'd like to learn if it's possible for you, and I believe it is, it's possible for everyone. Everyone has the ability to heal. I'd love to invite you for a free discovery call so we can chat more because my love, if you're a male, that might be a bit weird watching this video, dude, um, I am so excited. I am so excited that you, you feel this in your heart and that you're acknowledging this um, because holy smokes, your healing is just going to skyrocket and it is so possible. <laughs>